HDSLR Shooter, your source for news from NAB 2014. Brought to you by Adobe, Animas, Blackmagic Design, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, it's Clint with HDSLR Shooter, and I'm here with Andy Bellamy of Aja. Let's talk about the Scion. Sure. Okay, so Scion is the first production camera from AJA. It's a 4K, ultra-high definition, 2K and HD camera system. It's the first camera we think in a long while which has included some very neat features. The main being this is an ergonomic camera. We like to think you can take this from the box and put it straight on your shoulder with very few accessories being added. The built-in suede contoured shoulder pad being the, the key, to, key to that uh, particular workflow. The camera itself only weighs around six pounds. So magnesium chassis, really lightweight, but very, very strong. PL mount in the front. Now this means that you can use prime lenses. We believe that high definition, sorry, ultra high definition and 4K workflows really demand the best glass. So you can do that with this system. Also key to Scion's release is the, our approach to being open. So this means that this particular mount, although we won't make other mounts, we're fully able to allow third parties to have this removed and make their own mounts for it. The same with all the features of the camera, like the plates, top and bottom, they're all quarter 20. So you're, you can put whatever you like on there, top and bottom. If you don't like that, you can even swap that out. Standard outputs as well. All standard size BNCs, XLRs, HDMIs. Nothing proprietary on the system at all. So let's talk about the, 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 the sensor a little bit. Mm -hmm, sure. The sensor is an APS-C size sensor. So this means if you're shooting uh, 4K or HD, uh, ultra high definition, there'll be a very slight crop factor if you're shooting HD or 2K, will oversample the whole sensor and give you a dedicated hardware down convert. So there's no crop factor or line removal for, for standard HD or 2K workflows. Going back to the body, so you're saying that essentially you could put a PL mount on here, you can uh, put an EF mount, I guess? Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna make anything other than a PL mount for it, but third parties can do so because it's just four torque screws to remove and you can replace that. We've included a mechanical back focus adjustment as well. So if you are changing mounts, you're changing lenses, you can make all the right adjustments to make sure your image is as sharp as you need it to be. There's a viewfinder on the other side, right? There is, yeah, there is. We're not gonna supply a viewfinder with it, but what we've done is made it easy for you to choose your own, yours of, of choice, and get on with using the camera. We have a dedicated down convert for HD and 2K on the front here as SDI, and also HDMI, and a dedicated PTAP, that means Whatever your orientation, you can move and put the monitors wherever you want. Every output is live as well. So in a, perhaps a conventional scenario, there may be an EVF and then an additional monitor for a follow focus. It's no problem. We can accommodate those, uh, including armature, very, very easily. So we've got uh, audio readouts here on this side. Yeah, nice and straightforward. Nicely positioned. The VU meters are very, very accurate. If you're up into amber, you're right under peaking. But if you need to make adjustments on the fly, there's no menu drilling. You can simply reach out and make a real-time adjustment, which we think is really, really neat. You can also monitor using headphone on the top and, again, make adjustments to your monitoring experience as well without getting in anybody's way. The onboard monitor here, uh, uh, talk a little bit about this. Sure, yeah. This is what we would refer to as a confidence monitor. This means at a glance, we know we have a signal. Around the monitor, we have all the key functions that we believe you would need whilst operating the camera. So standard transport controls, which are all backlit and illuminate. We like that, that's good in the dark. Status, so at a glance, I know exactly where I am in terms of the format I'm recording, the frame rate, and I can also find out more information about the media that I'm using. In terms of other menu functions, the configuration menu is super flat. So dial through using this rotational selector, pick the menu you need, press the button again, and then you'll be able to go through and make your selection. Media is separate as well. So we've made sure that you can go straight into all the, the uh, adjustments you may need to make, regarding the recording formats of the camera. Then we have frames per second and format, exposure index, and also white balance. So these are all the key things. We don't need to have soft keys because we've actually placed them very easily on the side for easy access. Talk a little bit about, uh, so recording media, what is it actually recording to? It records to pack media. So that's AJA's media, you may have been familiar from the Key Pro Quad. These are SSD based, they offer fantastic bandwidth, but more than that, they're rated for 10,000 insertions. So this means, they're long lasting and we can guarantee the performance. For example, Scion is capable of recording ProRes 4K 444 at up to 30 frames a second or ProRes 4K up to 60 frames a second at 422. 
The reason why we go to 422 for 60 is the bandwidth limitation of the SSD, not our encoder. When the media becomes faster and reliable at doing that, we'll then provide you with an upgrade, different media, and you'll then have more functionality from the camera than you had when you bought it. So can it, uh, does it have a clean signal out if someone had an external recorder? Yes, indeed, yeah. We actually have AGA RAW. So this will be an open standard. We're not going to give too many details out now, but on release of the camera, which will be later on this summer, you'll be able to use the Thunderbolt port to output 4K, 30 frames a second AGA RAW. But one of the real holy grails at the moment that we've been talking about a lot is being able to do 3G SDI. So we have four of those out. That gives us 4K at 120 frames a second AGA RAW, which is really, really nice, really high bandwidth. We can do that with our Corvid Ultra uh, which is another box that we produce, which allows us to do region of interest and slow motion replays from that 4K material. It's really exciting stuff. People purchase this, what are they getting and how much is it going to cost? Okay, of course. So you're going to get obviously the base unit itself. You're then going to get the handle, a 15 millimeter rod, a length collar, this mounting post as well. We'll also supply you with a 12 volt power adapter here so you can drive the camera directly. Then obviously if you want to do IDX or Anton Bauer, this rear plate also come, has two other variations. So we remove this, we have two pin power that emerges. We can then fit our own plate to the back and then you can fit your IDX connector or your Anton Bauer plate or whatever your choice or preference is, V-Lock for example, and you're good to go in the field. Adding that there gives you superb offset balance against a prime lens on the front. As I said, six pounds before, get that on your shoulder. It's really comfortable and you're good to go. Cost of the camera is gonna be 8995. So Five bucks change out of nine grand, and that will come with a two-year warranty as standard. Excellent. And we're looking at summertime, right? Summer, yeah. I realize summer gives you a wide window, but we're going to try our best to get it out to you within this summer. We've said we're going to do that, and that's what we'll do. Excellent. Congratulations, Andy. That's a, that's a, it's a beautiful device, and uh, people want to find out more. What do they do? Uh, go to aja.com. You'll find there's a full Scion page there. All the tech specs, including more details about the sensor, uh, workflow, and also all the accessories you'll find there, as well as a great video, which gives you a really nice introduction to the ergonomics and the style of the camera. You can also see some sample footage that we shot during testing. Excellent. Thanks so much, Andy. You're very welcome. Thanks for taking the time today. HDSLR Shooter, your source for news from NAB 2014. Brought to you by Adobe, Animas, Blackmagic Design, and Carl Zeiss.